and we're going to move on to eye rigging. First, find the hair front folder and disable the visibility by clicking on the little eye on the left. Then find and select your left eye folder, right click on the folder itself, child object manipulation, select all. And for some reason, uh, my head rotation is inside the eye folder, um, but let's auto mesh it, heavy, and then move head Z out of the folder. Okay, for the eyelid, when I first started, I would use the path deform tool and do this, but instead, now I am going to make a warp deformer because I want to add physics later. Name it eyelid. The division should be around 10 times 5. But you know, if you have a different eye shape, adjust it until you think it's enough. And a reminder that you can always go to the inspector later to change the number of conversion divisions. Find IR open in the parameter and give it two keyforms. So when naming my layers, I would name this left eye because it's more intuitive for me to say that but it is actually the right eye on your tracking software. So you wanna link it to the eye right open. There are multiple ways to manipulate a deformer. While you are on the cursor tool, you can use the green dots here and you can adjust the number of green dots in here in the BZA division number. But let's say if there's a green dot in the middle and you wanna adjust the dot, but you end up moving the whole thing instead, you can click this X and then you can continue to move. Or you can also move the points individually, or you can use this tool, this deform brush tool. Um, you can click, you can hold B to resize and just brush it to whatever form you want. For IR open, we're going to drag it to the left, meaning the eye is now closed, and we're going to transform the eye closed at that key point. Select eye white and give it two keyforms. Then just squish it down and grab the path deform tool. Give it three dots. Go back to the cursor tool and just curve it until it fits the shape of your closed eye. And do the same for your eye corner. No, just give it two keyforms and then squish it down. For the lower eyelid, select the lower eyelid and lower eyelash, make a warp deformer, name it lower eyelid, and proceed to add two keyforms and transform it to fit the eye closed. Remember to always add keyforms when you move or transform anything. I'm also moving the double eyelid down and I'm making a deformer for the eyelash. So you might be wondering why sometimes I'm making a transformer and why sometimes I'm just directly transforming on the layer itself. And the rule that I use is that put it in a transformer if your layer is going to have physics or other transformations later, or if there's multiple layers moving together. Otherwise, you can directly transform on the layer. Then select everything the iris, create a deformer called iris close. And I am moving the iris down when the eyes close for a more natural closing movement. Then right click on the parameter IR open, select, that will select everything that is linked to this parameter. Hold Ctrl to deselect iris close, and then add two keyforms on IR smile. Move it to the right, then grab the deform brush tool, and brush the entire selection to transform his eyes to smiley eyes. And he also needs to be smiling when his eyes are closed. And this time, instead of going in with the deform brush, I'm going to open the eyelid and control shift C, then close the eye and make sure IR smell is at one so that he's supposed to be smiling and control shift V. So we just copy pasted the state of the transformer from one key point to another. Then just proceed to transform this into a smiling closed eye. 
along with all the other parts of the eye. Make sure to check there's no gaps when your eyes are opening and closing. Then we're going to do the eye roll. Select the deformer iris close and give it another warp deformer, call it iris roll. Adjust the number of BZA divisions to 2x2 two two, and the second one is depending on your preference. I did 8x7. Then add three key points to parameters eyeball X and eyeball Y. Drag eyeball X to the left and move your iris to the left. X is left right and Y is up down. You can slightly move the pupil inwards so that it creates a more 3D effect. Once we're satisfied with that, we move to eyeball Y, drag eyeball Y to the left, and that is downwards. Drag it to the right to move it upwards. Then, if you go to link parameters over here, we have established X and Y, but the four corners are still unrigged. So we are going to go to this menu and click Synthesize Corners. And that will take the two parameters you select on there and calculate the corners for you. And now the iris is rolling. Then we're going to make the skin around the eye kind of move with the eyeballs. So select IR Smile, right click, select. Create a deformer and call it Eye Skin. And I feel like the deformer gave me is a bit big, so I'm going to control and drag the deformer to make it fit the eye a bit more. And select eyeball X and eyeball Y. Add three keyforms. Make sure that you have actually selected the right stuff. Move your eyeball X to the left and grab the deform tool and start transforming. And start lifting your eye and just give your eye rolls a bit more dynamic movements. And when you have done X and Y, synthesize corners again. And your eye should be moving smoothly. Okay, then I am going to make the eye look shocked when they open wider. And I'm recording this later, so ignore any inconsistencies. So click eye are open, but right click on the name, edit parameter, make the maximum 1.4. Click OK. Then right click on the dot area, select and give it two keyforms to cover the new maximum we just added. And drag to that key point, um, deselect iris close again, and just deform the eye to, to make it open wider. And my eyelashes are flying off his eye, so I'm going to select the eyelash deformer and drag it down because remember we did the transformation on the deformer. Mm-hmm. Okay, then select iris close and shrink it, you know, to give it a more shocking expression. And we're done eye rigging. Next is eye physics.